Hi, welcome back to eProlo Academy, your go-to resource for mastering dropshipping. In the last video, we simply discussed intellectual property and its three types, including copyrights, trademarks, and patents. In this video, we'll focus on patent since it's the most common legal issue in dropshipping. Learning about patent not only helps avoid legal issues, but also helps to build a reputable and sustainable dropshipping business. Taking the time to educate yourself about patents can save you from potential legal headaches and position your business for sustainable growth. Let's start with the definition of the patent. According to Wikipedia, a patent is a type of intellectual property that gives its owner the legal right to exclude others from making, using, or selling an invention for a limited period of time in exchange for publishing an enabling disclosure of the invention. Based on its definition, we know that a patent has exclusive rights, and it's time limited which depends on the types of patents and countries. Except for that, a patent is also regional and it can only be protected in the country where you register the patent. However, you can obtain an overseas patent by filing an international patent application, in most cases, with your national patent office or directly with WIPO if permitted by your state's national security provisions. There are three types of patents, utility patents, design patents, and plant patents. Among these, utility patents and design patents are the most common in dropshipping and the e-commerce industry. A utility patent protects the functionality of a new and useful invention, including processes, machines, compositions of matter, or improvements to any of these. In the United States, a utility patent can last for 20 years, although the duration can vary in different countries. Design patent is a type of legal protection for the unique visual qualities of a manufactured item. It may be granted for products with a distinct shape, configuration, or surface decoration. Unlike utility patents, it can only last for 15 years in America. Some famous design patent objects include the original curvy Coca-Cola bottle, 1915, and the Statue of Liberty, 1879. For some dropshippers who are not familiar with registering patents, you may have some misunderstanding. First of all, some consider only major advancements to be patentable, but the answer is no. Most patents cover improvements and advancements on existing ideas. Next, many people believe that you can only register a patent with an existing product. However, this is incorrect. You can register a patent even if you don't have the physical product yet, as long as you have a detailed and clear description of the invention. It's important to register your patent early to prevent others from doing so first, or to avoid losing the novelty of your invention. The last misunderstanding is considering a patent to be a secret. In fact, registering a patent involves disclosure, as patent applications must include a clear and full description of the invention. This disclosure requirement ensures that the public receives something in return for the exclusive rights granted to the inventor. You may keep the invention private, but once someone else registers the patent, you'll lose the legal rights to the invention. Registering a patent not only provides you with exclusive rights to your invention, protecting it from unauthorized use and potential infringement, but it also enhances your market position, adds value to your business, and fosters innovation by contributing to the broader pool of public knowledge. To some dropshippers who create their unique products and want to protect legal rights, knowing how to register a patent is necessary. This involves several critical steps to ensure your invention is legally protected and meets all necessary requirements. Documenting your invention is crucial in the patent registering process. It provides the evidence of the conception and serves as the proof of your ownership. Except for that, it also presents novelty and non-obviousness, which are requirements for patent protection. You should thoroughly document your invention with detailed descriptions, drawings, and specifications. Include how it works step-by-step step and multiple views of your invention to clearly show its structure and its unique features to highlight why it is novel and non-obvious compared to existing solutions. As I said, novelty and non-obviousness are the requirements for patent protection. Make sure you perform a comprehensive search by using patent databases to ensure there is no similar invention existing. You can run your patent research through the USPTO online patent base or Google patent. Except for novelty, there are also another three primary requirements for patentability, which is non-obviousness. The invention must not be obvious to a person with ordinary skill in the relevant field at the time the invention was made. Utility. The invention must be useful and have a practical ability to achieve some functional purpose. Patentable subject matter. The invention must fall within the categories of patentable subject matter, 
which generally include processes, machines, manufacturers, compositions of matter, or any new and useful improvement thereof. Enablement. The patent application must teach others how to make and use the invention without undue experimentation. The next step is determining the type of patent. You need to decide whether your invention requires a utility patent, which is used for new and useful processes, machines, etc., or a design patent, which is for new, original ornamental designs. Before you file the patent application, you should review the USPTO's catalog of various patent forms, registration fees, as well as timelines for having your application examined. At this stage, after ascertaining the complexity of your application, consider hiring an attorney or agency to help you with the patent process. If you need international protection, it's also necessary to consider what kind of information you should prepare for and the appropriate department you should contact. You can access most of the patent information and application forms through USPTO, including filing patent applications online. Your application must contain all required parts, such as abstract, background, detailed description, and the appropriate fees. You can also choose to file a provisional patent application or a non-provisional application. The latter gives you 12 months to develop your invention further before registering a formal patent. Once your application has been received by the USPTO, it will then be reviewed for formalities and completeness. If your application contains non-informative information or is incomplete, you will receive a notice outlining the requirements to complete your application in the given time. This requires you to address any objections or requests from the patent examiner, including amending claims, providing additional information, or clarifying details. On the other hand, the patent examiner will pick up your application and research it if meets the requirements for patent protection, if your application is considered complete. Also, no matter whether your application is accepted, you'll be notified in writing of the examiner's decision by an office action. This is normally mailed to the attorney or agent of record, or to you directly if not represented by an attorney or agent. If the examiner considers your inventions meet all the requirements for patent protection, the patent will be granted. You will receive a patent certificate, and your invention is now legally protected. You have ownership of your invention and can seek patent protection when your rights are violated. Besides, you also need to pay the required maintenance fees to keep the patent in force. However, if the examiner deems your inventions don't meet the requirements, you must request reconsideration in writing, distinctly pointing out the errors in the office action and replying to every ground of objection and rejection. After successfully navigating the steps for registering a patent, it's fairly important to be vigilant about avoiding patent infringement. While securing your own intellectual property rights is crucial, ensuring that your innovations do not infringe on existing patents is essential to maintaining a compliant and sustainable business. The best way to avoid patent infringement is to conduct patent research at the product concept stage. In this stage, you have time to make a change to your innovations, weeding out the risk of infringing existing patents. You can use the USOPT or Google Patent to access the patent database and see if there is an existing patent related to your invention in your industry. You can also hire a patent attorney or researcher to do the patent research for you. Just keep in mind that patent research is necessary for building a reputable and sustainable dropshipping business. There's still a chance of being accused of patent infringement even if you did the previous patent research, so here's the solution for handling this situation. First of all, you need to consult with a patent attorney to seek professional advice, and then they will review the details of the accusation to guide you to the next step. The second step usually is to review the patent and claim to analyze the possibility of patent infringement. You need to obtain a copy of the patent and review the claims to understand what's being patented and how it relates to your invention. Try to compare these two inventions and identify the similarities and differences. If the analysis presents non-infringement, argue that your product or process does not infringe on patent claims with proof. Also, you can apply a temporary restraining order, also known as TRO, which is a short-term court order issued to prohibit an individual or company entity from taking action until a formal hearing is conducted. This TRO gives you enough time to gather enough evidence to support your response to the accusation. However, if the infringement exists, you can challenge the validity of the patent by proving evidence that the invention was already known or other reasons why the patent should have been granted. You can get the lowest compensation by discovering the bug of prior art. Before getting into the court, you may need to engage in negotiation with the patent holder to seek a resolution, which may include licensing agreements, settlements, or design changes to avoid infringement. 
If the negotiations fail or not works well, you need to prepare for the possible litigation. Your patent attorney will guide you through the legal process from filling out documents to the speech and hearing court. Now you've learned the solutions to being accused of patent infringement. By understanding the steps of registering a patent and taking proactive measures to avoid patent infringement, you can protect your innovations and build a reputable and sustainable dropshipping business. That's all for this video, and thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. See you next video.